What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with an absolute banger of a team that features one of my favorite poison types of all time, Dragalge. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. But before we get started with today's team preview, one, I want to give a huge shout out to the creator, my boy Matt, sending me this team over on Twitter. If you guys want to send me teams, head over to my Twitter, hit that follow button, DM me, message me over there, all that good stuff. I'll definitely get back to you guys and try to use as many fan teams as I could possibly can. Another thing is I want to go over a little bit of an update on what's going on with me and Short Circuit Gaming. If you guys do not know what SCG is, I'm partnering up with them in their gaming organization to be a content creator and we're bringing you guys some extra content and giveaways. So we got a giveaway coming up very, very soon. So like I said, follow my Twitter, stay up to date on my YouTube stuff so you know when my giveaway goes live. And also, we got more content going on their channel. Link to their YouTube channel is going to be down in the description below. I just recorded a video playing Rocket League with professional players. It was awesome. It's hilarious. Just a bunch of bros broing down, playing some Rocket League, having a good time. So if you guys are interested in that, head over to the SCG channel. Hit that follow button. And like I said, follow my Twitter to stay updated on everything. That video will be live very, very soon. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Calyrex over here. Calyrex, one of the best Trick Room Pokemons. Really, really good. As one ability, extra belt as item. Then we're rocking high horsepower, Glacial Lance, Zen Headbutt, and Protect for this thing's lovely little moveset. Second Pokemon on the squad is Zacian. Not going to say anything about it because it is the most OP set on him. It's a normal set. It's there if you guys want to take a closer look. Middle left is going to be Dragalge. The reason I picked this team, I absolutely love this Pokemon and it is an absolute beast in the trick room due to its adaptability ability. It is just amazing. Hits like an absolute truck with stab moves like Draco Meter or Sludge Bomb or when we Dynamax, it's Max Ooze and Max Worm Win. We also got Thunderbolt, Hyper Beam, and the weakness policy as its item. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be our Trick Room setter over here. It's going to be Dustcops over here with the Frisk and the Mental Herb. I do like Mental Herb on Trick Room Pokemons, but I feel like Dustcops needs that Evo Light. So hopefully this can work out well and we can just still roll out with him. He's got Poltergeist, Bulldoze, actually proc weakness policy on Dragalge. Then we got Trick Room and Brick Break for its moveset. Bottom left hand corner is going to be this Moltres. I love this Moltres set. It's like a it's like a it's like a weaker, I guess like not as good Yvelta set. But it's still really, really good. You know what I'm saying? It's got Berserk, Assault Vest, Air Slash, Fiery Rast, Snarl, and Sucker Punch. First turn priority, special attack drops, hard-hitting stab moves. It works well all around. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Rollboom. Can't go wrong with this Pokemon on any team. We got the Grassy Surge alongside with the Focus Dash. We're rocking Fake Out, Grassy Guide, Knock Off, and U-Turn. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, but the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Dragalge Trick Room team. Let's get rolling here in bow number one, going up against a Kyogre and Shadow Rider Calyrex. Heavy meta team with Whimsicott, Urshifu, Incineroar, and Regilek. Okay, I think I gotta get rocking with Trick Room, right? Do I have to get rocking with Trick Room? Yeah, we're gonna go Trick Room with Dust Cops and have Rillaboom in that back end just for fake out control. And if he wants to bring in that Kyogre, we can kind of just pose a threat onto that. So I really do like that. Threat. I really do like that. So Dust Cops, Rillaboom, love it. We're gonna bring Calyrex in the back, and then I think we just rock out with Dragalge, right? Dragalge's not too shabby. I do like me some Dragalge, actually. So we're going to rock in with them too. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. And the mental herb might actually come in clutch because like Whimsicott is rocking tall. But like I usually said, or like I said in the beginning of the video, I feel like Dust Cops is way better off with the Evo Light. It just makes it so much more bulky. So much more bulky. But I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let's grab some wins. Here. Let's grab some wins today. Let's grab some wins today. Let's see who's going to lead. Regilecki and who else? And over. Okay. I'm really fine with this. I'm really fine with this because A, I can grass guide, I can fake out. Um, I gotta pop a trick room, right? I have to pop a trick room. Well, my only problem here would be is if he Dynamaxes, uh, is if he Dynamaxes Kyogre. That would be my only problem here. He's gonna set the drizzle. We have to get off this trick room. This trick room has to get grooving. Has to get grooving. Okay, so we know he has the magnet and the, uh, the mystic water. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. But what I'm gonna do here is going to be pop a trick room. And, like, I want to fake out, but, like, at the same time, I think I just grassy glide, right? Because he dies if he doesn't protect. But if he Dynamaxes, that's our only problem. That is our only problem, is if he Dynamaxes. But if he doesn't Dynamax, we should be fine. We should be chilling here. We should be thriving. I love it. I wouldn't mind if Kyogre protects, because all, all I'm looking to do here is get off my, uh... Get off my Trick Room. That's my only only thing. He's going to withdraw. That's totally fine. I'm, I'm with it all day. The only thing I want to do is get off this Trick Room. He's gonna go into instant war. That's totally fine. Like I said, my only thing I want to do is get off this chicken, which is exactly what we're gonna, we're gonna do. Unless he's Dynamax and Reggie. There's no way he's Dynamax and Reggie. He does not. Cool. He's not Dynamax Reggie. 
We're gonna pop into this. Deal off a little bit of damage. And this thing's gonna bounce. That's, that's totally fine. That's cool. We pop a trick room. We're thriving here. I'm gonna try to U-turn out of here. I'm gonna try to U-turn out of here. Even though he is gonna fake me out this turn. That's, that's fine. You can fake me out all day. Well, I could just hard swap. I could definitely hard swap. Kinda digging. Kinda digging the hard swap, right? But again, he's just gonna fake me out and go for a bounce. My boy should be able to bulk it up. I'm just gonna hard swap. No, not my dust cops. We want my dust cops. We're gonna fight with my dust cops and uh Do I bulldoze right off the rip here? Do I pull two guys? I just pull two guys here. Now you know we're just gonna we're just gonna set up here. Watch this. We're gonna bulldoze and we're gonna hard swap all around. He's gonna fake me out. We already know he's gonna fake me out. So you know what? I'm just gonna just gonna hard swap my Dragalgy. Have him fake out my Dragalgy. Have him bounce to my Dragalgy. Then I'm gonna bulldoze and then I'm gonna Dynamax because I think my HP should still be decent with that. Dragalgy, baby. Loving it. Loving it. Unless he goes for something else. Let's see. There's the fake out. Yeah, we saw it's coming all day. Look at that. We be soak. Go for the bounce. Bulldoze actually gonna come out here first, which is solid. And this thing's gonna oh pop a Shukaberry. I think it's rocking a Shukaberry. So we get rid of that. We're gonna proc policy on Dragalge, right? Lower our speed. And then pop policy. Beautiful. Beautiful. So he's probably bouncing. Hopefully he bounces into Dust Cops. That could be even better, but we'll see. We'll see. He's got to be in the Dragalgy, right? And I'm with it all day. Look at look at, look at that. You know, we just soaking up shots. Bounce going to come in here. Get my Dragalgy. Look at that. See, see, we're fine on HP. Now I'm just going to Dynamax. And we have the terrain giving me some more HP. That is gorgeous. That is lovely. That is lovely. Okay, so from here, uh, what do we do? What do we do? We could boost our special, special attack, but I think we're fine with it. Actually, I said we just keep Dust Cops in. I feel like Dust Cops is going to be that Pokemon. But like. Hmm. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. What do I have in the back end? I think I have Zacian, right? No, I do not. I just brought all Trick Room Pokemon. Okay, I'm cool with that. But I'm just going to Dynamax here. And what do I go into? Wormwind? Or do I ooze it up? I could Wormwind it and just take out Incineroar. Because Incineroar is kind of a pain. I really don't feel like dealing with them later, you know? What am I going for with Dust Cops? Yeah, I just want to brick break and take off Focus Ash if that thing's rocking it. And then Dynamax, drop a warm wind and get rid of you. I'm with it all day. Okay, so let's Dynamax this Galaxy. Get rocking with this guy. If he wants to swap instead of war, that's totally fine. I think we're thriving here. I think we are thriving here. Because how many turns? I think we have three more turns left in Trick Room. Yeah, we should have three more turns. So the rest of my Dynamax turns should be in Trick Room. We should be rocking with him. We got to watch out for uh, his Kyogre in the back end. Because that Pokemon could be scary. And I wish I would have brought Zacian at this point, right? Zacian definitely would have been good. I feel like we over... We overstepped on the trick room Pokemon. But no, everything worked out well here. We still have Robum in the back. Reggie's going to protect. That's a huge turn for us. It's a great turn for us. Thank God we didn't go after Regilecki. We're going to go for a brick break here. It's going to do nothing. And we're just going to absolutely rip onto this Incineroar. Because A, we're weak this policy proc. And B, it's adaptability. Get this thing out of my game. Get them all out of here. The allergy is OP, dude. In trick room, it is one of the best Pokemon. I can't believe a lot, of, a lot more people don't use it. It's just so strong. This is so good. This is so good. This really is just so good. We're going to get some more HP back. Thank you, Grassy Terrain. And we're just going to keep rolling out with this Pokemon. Let's see. He could, uh, if he brings out Kyogre, I could see him protecting Kyogre. But I don't really know. I do not know. I'm kind of hoping he just doesn't even bring out Kyogre and he shows his final Pokemon. Let's see who he goes into. It's going to be Ogre. Okay, so Ogre comes out here. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. What do I do here? Poltergeist? I could read a Protect on him. It could be scary. I could definitely read the Protect. But we should be able to soak up pretty well. So, you know what? I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to worm one. Let me get after this Regilecki here. Is Kyogre, he might Dynamax and card. That's what I'm kind of hoping. I'm kind of hoping he's protecting it. Thinking that we're going after him. But I'm going to go with the safe play. Go after Regilecki. We know Regilecki can't protect. And I'm guessing it's Sash. And if it is, I'll just roll into uh, Dust Cops next turn. Just use a move on him. I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does here. He's going to withdraw Regilecki. Who's he going to go into for me? He's going to show us final Pokemon. Who's it going to be? Who's your final Pokemon? You know, ooh, I'm with it. I'm with it. This Pokemon actually might have the, uh, the what's it called? This Pokemon might have the Focus Ash. He's going to Dynamax the Ogre. So Ogre gets the Dynamax. Hopefully he's back to Garden here. That could be a solid turn for us. But we shall see. We shall see. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, Let's see, we have one more turn left in Trick Room after this, I believe, right? And I'm hoping this thing's Garden right here. That could be a huge turn if he guards. It's not Garden. So we're just going to go into Poltergeist here. 
We attacked it with his Mystic Waters, and we're just gonna chip up a little bit of damage. So nothing too special, nothing too crazy. And then Wormwind's gonna fly here, bring this thing down to Sash, we're taking out. Really depends if it has Sash or not. And I think it does, right? Yeah. So it has the Sash. I wish we would have doubled down in that slot. Should have doubled down in that slot. We should have. We should have. So Focus Sash is gonna poke out here. We're gonna get the attack drop that, which does nothing because both these guys are special attackers. This thing's gonna drop a guy. are probably in the Dragalgy, right? Oh, Hailstorm. Never mind. Hailstorm. Can you eat that Dragalgy? Maybe, please. Probably not, right? You can. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Hell's gonna poke here. And yo, he's killing his own Calyrex. That's enormous for us. That is enormous for us. That is huge for us. Now I don't have to worry about that. Now I don't have to worry about. Yo, that's lovely. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. So Trick Room has one more turn. I'm surprised he hasn't went after it yet. And he's probably he's gonna bring back out Red Jalecki, and I could definitely see him protecting it and potentially max guarding. Uh what do we do? Do we just take out G? player just target down reggie i think we target down reggie because even through to protect we can still do a lot of damage and i'd rather not waste my last dynamax turn you know i'd rather not waste it so i think i'm just gonna I think i'm just gonna heavy hit onto that thing try to get rid of that so from here let me just make sure we have one more turn left and trick him. one turn left and trick him. one more turn left and trick him. and yeah i just see him guarding up right you know i'm just gonna pull the guys here again and i'm just gonna drop Good lightning, but I, I, I do think he's going to uh, double protect here and just waste out tricker. So if he double protects, that's totally fine. Let's see. Yep, there's the guard. I got it. Went after Reggie. I think Reggie's still going to protect, right? Yeah, so at least we get off damage and we don't waste our last turn. So that's a solid play by me. Solid play call by me. I'm with it all day. I still have the grace terrain ends and I still have Rollable Moon to back. Mwah, mwah. Beautiful, beautiful. And Wormwind should be able to do a huge amount of damage here. That's it. Look at that. That's some big old damage. That's some big old damage. Okay. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with the Pokemon that we have in the back end, too. I'm really cool with this. I'm really cool with this battle. This is such a good battle. We're actually doing some work. Doing some work. So, we're definitely going to go down here. Uh, I'm trying to think of what we can possibly do. Nothing really, right? We have no first turn priority. First turn priority would be gorgeous right now. It'd be lovely right now. Or like a pain split on a Dust Cops. That'd be nice. Actually, no, we're full HP on him. But yeah, he's just going to dump all my Clops, man. I'm definitely going to try to pop another Trick Room because Trick Room would really benefit us. But if we can't get it, we can't get it. It's a big deal. Let's just see what he does. Let's just see what his play call is. Obviously, obviously, go for Trick Room. And then from here, I'm just going to drop a Thunderbolt. Would Thunderbolt do more than that? This is Stab. Hmm. I think Thunderbolt would do a little bit more. So, you know, I'm just going to try to drop a Thunderbolt on this thing. But no, I think Draco Meteor would do more because of adaptability. He's going to go for the E-Web. Can you eat this up, Dragology, please, somehow? Oh my god, Dragalgy, I love you. Dragalgy's gonna be able to get off a shot. He's gonna geyser into my uh He's gonna geyser into my Dust Cops, right? And Dragalgy's gonna be alive next turn. Can you eat this up, Dust Cops? Can you eat this up? Probably not. You're not, not Evo Light. You're gone. See if he had the Evo Light, I think he was actually he would have been able to eat that up, which would have been gorgeous. But still, yo, Dragalgy getting off another shot. I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. Now we just roll in the roll boom. Woo! Now we just roll in the really? Thunderbolt coming out here. Give me the para too. Give me the para. No paralyzed, but still, yo. Real boom coming in hot. Real boom coming in hot. Really, really coming in hot. Okay, uh. Let's play here. We can fake out. Um, he's gonna E web. He's gonna double down with a double heading move, so I, mean, I don't think fake out's gonna be the call. Unless we fake out the Reggie, but no, I just think we should have Grassy Glide. I think we should have Grassy Glide. But Real boom coming in the back end. Gonna be beautiful. Gonna be beautiful here. Um, I am just gonna go straight into a Grassy Glide here. Get rid of Regilecki, and then uh, if I can't get off this Draco Meteor, I'll try to run it, but let's see what he does. Roboom in the back end. It's type nice, especially up against Regilecki and Kyogre. Roboom just counters him so hard. I love it. Grass guy comes out here. Bye-bye, Regilecki. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. Brings it into a basically a 1v2, 1v3. He's going to ice beam my Dragalgy, right? Or is that Roboom? Roboom should be able to soak it up. Wow, that did a lot of damage. That did, that did a ridiculous amount of damage. Luckily, we had the Focus Ash. Totally forgot we had that. And then the Draco Meteor is going to fire. Draco Meteor, I think, finishes this, this one off, right? Look at this. Look at this. Get him on out of here. Yo, Dragalgy, like I said, OP in that trick room. And he gets a crit just rubbing in our opponent's face. What a solid start for today's video. Dominating a straight meta team. Now we're hopping into our second battle. And this one's looking tough as well. You know, the Groudon and Venusaur Sun combo is always a problem. He also has the Lunala 
then the Incineroar, Regilecki, and P2 for Trickroom. Do I go? Do I roll in the Trickroom squad? I could roll in the Trickroom squad, or I could just roll in the Moltres, because he has a few special attackers on the field. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Um, no, nah, I, I think we uh, try to pop Trickroom. Try to pop Trickroom, it is sounding really nice. It's sounding lovely. It is sounding lovely. What do I do? What does Jeans do? Hmm. Trick Room Dust Clops? Yeah, let's Trick Room it up. Trick Room it up with him. We Should we lead Rillaboom? I kind of... No, because I want to bring Calyrex, Zassian, and Jig Galaxy. Those are my, those are my choice. I think I'm going to lead Zassian. I think Zassian's just type nice. And we're going to... Oh, but if... Mm, that's my problem. If he leads the... What's it called? Groudon. You know what? No, we're, good, we're doing this. We're rocking in all this. Let's run it up. Lock it in. Lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two here. But, dude, we have to get off this trip. Like, like exactly what happened in last battle. I was just like, dude, if we can get off this trick room, we'll be thriving. We popped the trick room. I got my Dragology out there. I actually made a great swap. I was just like, he's going to fake out. He's going to bounce into me. I can bulldoze. We can soak all that up and just die in an action roll from there. And that worked. Mwah. It worked wonders. It worked perfectly. It's going to go Lunala and Reggie. Okay, so Lunala and Reggie come out here. And I'm kind of cool with it. I don't mind it. I do not mind it. I do not mind this one bit. But at this point, I am just going to pop a trick. And the Moon Guys beam is kind of scaring me. Don't get me wrong. But I do have a Zassian on the field. So that thing has a Power Herb. And that one has a Focus Ash. So that's good to know. That's good to know. We can just rock it to Behemoth Blade if we want to. Or I can just go in here. I don't want to do. I think Behemoth Blade is going to be my play. Lunala is bulky, though. Super, super bulky. Super, super bulky. Let's see what it does. Yo, if we can get off this trick, that's all I need. Bolt switch is going to pivot out. That's fine. And I think I think he's going to take me out. That's, that's a little scary. He's pivoting out. Who's he going to go into? Who's he going into? Ground on me? Could be ground on me. This, uh, this is what I was going to See, I, I was going to say, is he going to go into Cinewar? But the thing is, I don't, I didn't remember Incineroar in this lineup. <laughs> I did not remember it. But he's going to get the Intimidate off. Solid play by him. And can we get off this lovely little trick room? Can we get off this trick room? Just please, just let me get off the trick room. That's all I asked for. That's all I ask. I'm going to pop this. Tip up a little bit of damage. But like I said, Luna was just so bulky. He's going to go for the Moon Guys beam. Ooh, please, please, it's Zassian. Please go into Zassian. I don't think he's going into Zassian. No shot, right? Yeah, the Scop's dead. Bye, the Scop's. Bye, the Scop's. See, that's why the Evo Light's so good. That's why I want the Evo Light. But it is what it is. It is what it is. I still think we bring out your Galaxy and we die max. Or I can go straight into you. But nah, Intimidate could do him dirty. I'm going to go right into... Right now, my boy. I think your gouge is going to be my Dynamax mod. Adaptability, he still does a ridiculous amount of damage. So I'm ready to roll with that. I am ready to roll with it. I am ready to roll with the Dragalge. Dragalge, baby. Let's get some work done, baby. We'll drop this. We'll drop a Worm Wind and we'll get rolling with that. Worm Wind into. I could close combat. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit this thing hard with close combat. I'm going to hit this thing hard, dude. I really want that Trick Room, man. I really want that Trick Room. I feel like for setting up Trick Room with this team, I feel like Real Boom is an absolute must. Because, like, if your Dust Cops doesn't have Evil Light, he's just going to get dumped on pretty easily, like you guys have been seeing. But with Real Boom, you can uh, pose a threat with Fake Out. Kind of go from there. Because Dust Cops is definitely able to soak up one shot. And say I brought out the say I brought out the, uh, the Real Boom alongside with the Dust Cops, then I could have just faked out the Lunal and kind of went from there. Unless he Dynamax it. It is what it is. It is what it is. But Lunala is solid, dude. I feel like Lunala is just great in, in certain situations. It really is. It really is. And, and it is super bulky. Like, it counters Asian pretty well. Well, it doesn't, like, counter it, but it can soak up its shots and, like, stay in the battle a little bit longer. We're going to Dynamax Dragology. Close combat's going to fly through. Probably maybe take him out. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Big time KO. Big time KO from Zassian. I would love to swap Zassian and have him in the back end. I would love it. But, yo, Dragology's still going to be able to hit decently hard here. He's gonna go for a meteor beam. That's fine. Who are you going after? Don't touch my Dracology. Leave my Dracology alone. Leave him alone. This might be super fat. Is it? Why, why am I forgetting my typing? I don't have an odd feeling this is super effective. I don't know. I know. Unless he's going after Zassian. Then we guess after you. And now it's not. Cool. Cool. I don't know why I thought Rock was super effective with poison. It's fine. We'll drop a worm in here. Still chip up some big damage. That can leave my uh, Zassian to be able to take that out, right? Zassian should be able to take that out. I do dig it. I do dig it. Now I wonder who he's going to go into. He has Regilecki, and then probably his next Pokemon is going to be his Dynamax Pokemon. It's going to be Groudon. So Groudon's going to fly out here. Groudon's scared me, dude. He's scared me. Leave me alone. Groudon's scared me. Um, If he Dynamaxes him, I'm still going to Behemoth Blade. 
think we still do that. So we rock, I say we still rock. Do we double down the ground? I'm going to take out Lunal here. I'm going to blade. I'm going to blade here. I'm going to blade it. And he Dynamax. So there's his Dynamax. I knew that was coming. Thank God I, I put the blade over there. Because I was going to actually not do it. But it's all good. It is all good. I have to cough, man. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Excuse me, guys. He's going to Dynamax Groudon. But he with Blade's going to roll out here. But it's not going to do too much damage. Like, Groudon's pretty bulky on the defensive side. It is double damage, and we are minus one. Unless he swaps Lunal, which would be a good call. But he does not. Behemoth Blade's still going to fly out here. Let's see how we rock with it. How much damage are you really going to do? We're even, but still. Double damage, and this thing's pretty bulky. So that, that ain't too bad. That is not too bad. He's going to roll into a Moon Guys Beam, and he... Uh, can we eat that? We are... Uh, probably not, right? I don't think we are. Because he's plus one, we're minus one. Let's see, can you eat that ass somehow? Nope, Zassian goes down here. Yo, Dragology, eat up this Quake. I don't think Dragology's eating up this Quake. But if it does, yo, this could be great for us. There's the Quake. Oh, this might be GG's. This might be GG's. I do not like this. Eat this up. Yeah, no shot. No shot. Yeah, dude, I knew Groudon was going to be a huge problem. And once we didn't get off the Trick Room, it was just over from there. It was just over from there. But we have Calyrex in the back end. We're not going to be able to really do too much with it. And that's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's. So and we're going to start off today's video. One and one. And now we have to the third final. And look for a winning record. But we wait, we didn't get swept, did we? We didn't get swept, did we? I don't think we did. We took an out Pokemon. We dumped on, yeah, we dumped on Incineroar. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. So you guys know my rules. We don't go 0-3. We already checked it off with a win in battle number one. And we don't get swept. We don't get swept. But yeah, this battle I kind of knew was over. Once we couldn't get off Trick Room, and it's all good. Groudon came in here. Super bulky Pokemon. Kind of ran it from there. But when we run this battle, it's all over. And we'll hop to that third and grab ourselves a winning record. Let's grab ourselves a winning record in battle number three. We are going up against a Solgaleo Kyogre team. Solgaleo is definitely one of those better Pokemon, in my opinion. Really, really strong with weakest policy and has a great moveset. Great moveset. We also rock an Incineroar, the Grimmsnarl, the Kartana, and the Regilecki. So I feel like we've been seeing a lot of the same Pokemon in today's video, but it's all good. It's all good. How should I play this one? Moltres isn't too bad. It has super effective shots on the Solgaleo. The uh, only problem is, like, he's not rocking a bunch of special attackers. That's, that's like, the only problem with this. And he does have Regilecki, which Regilecki kind of scares me. I think we just go into Trick Room, dude. I think we bopped the Trick Room combo, and we're here to show off Trigalge today, right? I think we rolled that, that, and we go same squad as first one, right? I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Or do we not bring Calyrex, and we bring Zassian instead? That could work. That could work wonders. Because Calyrex is good, but it's just, like, I feel like Trick Room turns will really only benefit with your gouging right yeah you know we'll, we'll bring calvary you guys see plenty of ass we're going full on trick room we're looking for this win right here right now right here right now so go ahead dude lead kyogre lead kyogre i'll do the same thing as i did in battle number one to send a grass guide straight into straight into that pokemon straight into that little booger but yeah i gotta get off trick room. i gotta get off trick room. that's like the, that's the, that's the way with this team it's the way this guy's gonna rock out with grimstarl and so gally okay so Grimmy Grim and Sogaleo is going to come out here. Uh, bump, 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 bump. What do I do? I think I'm just going to U-turn, pivot, pop a trick room, right? Or I can fake out Grimmy Grim. Grimmy Grim could set up a screen, but I, I do think U-turn, pivot, into trick room is a problem. And then into Dragalge. Into Dragalge. Dragalge could be nice. Dragalge. Or I can go in the Calyrex at that point. But, uh, could take off his weakness policy. I could. I could. I could. Could take off his policy, which could be good. You know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna go for a trick. So he's gonna Dynamax here. Hopefully we can get off this trick. Room. This we're gonna be kinda close here. Hopefully we can get off this trick room. Trick room would be lovely, but again, no, yo, no Evo Light really really does me dirty, man. It really does me dirty. I would love to have an Evo Light. I would love it. I would love it. Let's see what he does here. He's going to fake me out. That's totally fine. So we couldn't have U-turned anyway. It's a crit. Get out of my face with that crit. And what's he going to go for here? What are you going for? He's going to go for a Steel Spike into who? Into Robum. Okay, so I get a free Trick Room. He goes out. That's that's fine. That's fine. That is fine. That's fine. He gets a defense boost. So Dragology is going to be our Dynamax Pokemon because, you know, we're boosting special defense. But then he is rocking Quake. He is rocking Quake. Trick Room's gonna poke. Uh, send it, and I can I can pop policy right here, right now. Might be my play. Pop policy, roll off from there. Good pop the policy, but the problem is, yo, I can't really hit that that, that Solgaleo too hard. 
We can't really hit that Solgaleo too hard. Which is a huge problem for us. Because look, if we Dynamax, we have Wormwind. It's not very effective. Sludge Bomb, no effect. You know, Thunderbolt, I mean, we could send it, but it's like, ah. It's like, come on. But at this point, uh, what do we do? I don't really want to change up terrain. Uh, we definitely want to pop policy, and I think we're just going to ooze here. Take out you. Max ooze, right? That's a max ooze. Let me make sure. I don't want to click Sludge Bomb on accident. We're going to max ooze, take you out, and I think we just pop this, right? Oh, no. What am I doing? What did I just do? I just popped his policy, too. Oh, my God, Jeans. What are you? Now my Jugalgy's dead. Now my Jugalgy's dead. That one's on me. That one is on me. My Jugalgy is gone. It is dead. It's GG's. Popping its policy, too. Oh, my God. This Jugalgy could take out uh, Grimmy Grim. This one's on me, yo. Big mistake. Big mistake. What's he going to go for? He's going to set up a light screen. That's cool. I'm cool with that. I, th I still think my boy can take him out. I'm going to go Bulldoze. That's rough news. That is so rough. That is so rough. That is so rough. <laughs> Please, don't have policy. It has policy. Like, we already know it. It's awful. That is awful. Yep, there it is. There it is. There it is. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Nice one, Jeans. At least we go next. I think Ooze should be able to take it out with adaptability. Having the stab damage and the weak spot proc. Through the light screen should... Yeah, dump one. Okay, so we get rid of him. We are plus three now. But I... I he's going for quick and he's, he's going to rip onto me. Ah, that one hurts. This one hurts so. Can you eat this up somehow, Dragouge? Dragouge, I love you forever. Wish she had, like, Alice, which or something. There's the Quake. We're after Dust Cops somehow, or for some reason. No, Dragouge, eat this. Jeans, jeans, jeans. What are you doing? It's rough. That is so rough, dude. That is so rough. That is so rough. The roughest thing ever, right there. So rough. So rough. And it was once I clicked it. It was once I clicked it. I was like, dude, we're, we're done. We're done for. We're done for. So that yeah, is a great combo for this team, though. No counter. Really just runs it. But he's going to bring out Incident War and Intimidate. Oh, you guys are countering me up all left and right. But hey, at least we, we were able to grab ourselves a win here in today's video. And our first win was great. It really was. But yeah, we're definitely not going to win this battle. So yeah, he's just going to roll out here. He can fake me out. Bruh, 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 bruh. I don't know what to do. La 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 la. Uh, gotta protect because you know the fake out's probably pot poking here. And then um, we can go for Polter, guys. I mean, we're, it's really gonna do like no. Actually, it doesn't have an item, so we fail. But get, I guess we'll break. I guess we'll break. break. <laughs> I guess we'll do that. But yeah, this this, this law is definitely on me. Popping that policy on Sogalio. That's a tough call. Fake out's probably gonna roll here. Yep. Fake out comes out here. We're still gonna fight. We're still gonna fight, but it's not looking good for us. I'm gonna pop a nice little V. Brick break. Break the screen too. Send it that way. Even though it's only a light screen. It's only a light screen. And a steel spike is gonna fly here. Can you eat this? Even through the protect? Wow, dude. Wow. Wow, yo, that damage. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. But now this thing is absolutely boosted on defense. The only way we KO this is it's a crit, right? And even with that, I don't think we get it because we are minus one on attack. That is rough. That is rough news. Real rough news. Real rough moves. Real rough moves. So we need some crits. <laughs> we need some crits. It's the bottom line. Even though Glacial Lance is like poopy up against both of them. We need a crit here. We'll go for there, and then we'll just roll into a... Uh, I guess we'll double down on this thing. I guess we will double down on Solgaleo. Imagine this, is, this thing protects. Might have to get up and leave. Might have to get up and leave. <laughs> Never play Pokemon Sword and Shield again. He wide guards. Psh, waste of a turn, dude. Waste of a turn. He put us in the battle a little bit. Oh my god, why'd I go for pull? Oh my god, I'm just, my brain's dead today. Why'd I go for pull? Was that a crit? Woohoo! Mr. Flare Blitz. Mr. Flare Blitz, or go after, or go for a third chop in the Dust Cops. Eat this? Probably not. Go after Dust Cops? Ah, that's rough. <laughs> Yo, we end up getting a crit, but Polter guys, oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. I even said it last round. I was just like, we can't go for Polter guys. He doesn't have an item. And then I went after it. Then I did it. Then I did it. But yeah, we did get that crit, which was hilarious. Which was hilarious. RNG was on our side a little bit. But could you imagine if he, like, I don't know, went after. Oh, he had Kyrie. Like, Kyrie would have been tough. That would have been tough. 
just had a bunch of Pokemon to counteract us. What a battle, though. What a battle. It's all good. It's all good. But hey, one or two for today's video. My boy Duskops is not going to do anything up against this. So we're just going to run it. Not too shabby for today. Grabbed ourselves at least one win and got to show off the Dragology to his fullest potential. Want to give one last huge shout out to my boy Matt for leaving his team on my Twitter page. If you guys want to leave me teams, head over to my Twitter. Link is down in the description below. Hit that follow button. Either DM me or tweet at me. I try to get back to all of my fans or all the people that message me and let them know if I'm going to at least use their team. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.